Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about Mac OS Big Sur so first let me go to this about this Mac and let me show you what is the configuration of my machine so I have received this Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1 update two days back on my MacBook Pro so here's the specification as you can see I'm having the MacBook Pro 2020 13 inch base model and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM so just two days back I have received this update so in this video I'm going to talk about some of the nifty and some of the beautiful looking features of Mac OS Big Sur so as you can see I'm just recording my screen to have this video so let's just start the video and if you're new here on my channel I would love to have you subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up that would motivate me to make more of this kind of videos and with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so first let's start with a few of the changes. So this video is going to be a bit short but let's focus on the new features. So on, on the top right corner as you can see the most interesting addition to the Mac OS Big Sur is going to be definitely the control center. So if I click on this symbol it, it gives me the control center which basically have all the kind of things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop and DND and things like that. So this is basically more or less like iOS kind of thing that you get. So if you're having an iPhone or if you have ever used an iPhone you might be aware about what control center is and what basically the functionality of control center is so let me click on the control center it gives a uh, more or less like ios kind of feeling but uh, all, all the settings here you can see it is uh, put together in a slack and as you can see here from starting from display sound wi-fi bluetooth all the things just in simple and plain in a tile so that's basically the control center and apart from that let me show you to the other things as well so so if you look at the dock the dock is now more or less like bit redesigned so all this icons the sides of this icons have been rounded and also we have this new finder option so as you can see if i take you to this finder option it has been redesigned overall so in terms of look and feel the mac os big sur have been a big update so after lots of beta updates we have this mac os big sur final update so this is the kind of finder and this is the kind of UI that we get to see and also if you notice now the dock is more or less like more translucent. So this is the kind of dock. So you can customize the dock by going into the system preference. So let me first go to the system preference and also let me show you some of the nifty features that I like about Mac OS Big Sur. So if I click on this desktop and screen saver, so now you have a lot of new wallpapers. So if you see that there are lots of lots of new wallpapers, so I'm rocking uh, one from here. So there are lots of lots of new wallpapers that you can use as a wallpaper. So does that and apart from that what i like about the system preference now you have an additional battery section so if you have ever used uh, iphone so you might be aware about this battery section so the kind of usage and the graph and detail level of thing that we get to see on iphone so the same thing has been put together for mac os and for all the imacs and macbooks as well so this is basically a new thing so if you click on usage history so you get to see a detailed graph about this thing and also you get to see the screen on time and the things like that so you have your battery power adapter schedule and usage history so this is a total new option that you are getting on this mac os big sur so apart from that there are new features as well i'm not gonna cover all the features from this video so i just wanted to tell you some of the features which also includes this notification center so on the top right corner if you click on your date and time you have this notification center when you have notification it would pop up here and apart from that just like ios 14 you have this widget tile so as you can see it gives me this weather widget apart from that all these widgets you can customize if you just click on down and click on edit widgets you can customize all these widgets so that's just 
like more or less like iOS 14 I kind of feel that so that's basically it I wanted to show you some of the new features that you are getting with Mac OS Big Sur so let me know in the comment section below if you're using an iMac or MacBook Pro and what and all are the new features that you're excited with with Mac OS Big Sur 11 so I hope you like this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and also for more videos like this do subscribe to my channel and with that being said I will see you on my next video. Bye.